Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our new lesson based on translation course from Urdu to English and English to Urdu with Sayyid Hamid Bukhari. Today, uh, our lesson is based on the signs like Ne wala hai. Ne wala hu. Ne wali hai. Or Ne wale ho. Like, I will just write first the uh, signs here, and I will write here signs. Ne wala hai. Ne wali hai. Ne wala hu. Ne wale ho. Ne wali ho. And ne wale hai. See, dear students, first. We'll talk about this sign, ne wala hai or ne wala hu. These are the signs which are meant for singulars like wahid and muzakar. And these are the signs, ne wali hai and ne wali hu. These are the signs meant for singular but the feminine. Like we have the example, wo ek aurat, ek ladki, ek uh, guy, Ek uh, uh, Gori, like these are the verbs which you can add up here. And in these we have example like Bo, Ek Mart, Ek Lurka. These are the verbs you can add up here. And these are meant for those signs. And these are meant for the plurals. Or this is meant for the second person singular like you or second person plural like you, that's you. And first, we will see now, when we have such signs, what exactly we need in English to translate these signs. These signs are translated in the form of about to. About to. Now, dear students, we will first see because we have always singulars and we have always plurals. First, we'll see the formula for the singulars. And then we will just see the formula for the plurals. We'll see here, this is, but this represents here about, this represents here the present one. Like the work is being done in the present, or work is being done in the very near, uh, in the near future, in the near future, or in the far future, you can do the translation by the help of these signs. So we we'll write here the formula for singular first subject, then it's always a linking verb or the helping verb you call it, and it's is or it's am, is and am, then it's here about to after that. Then it's verb form, first form here always, first form of verb. And then it's object or another noun, object or another noun in the form of name, place, whatever is there, you can add up here. Then we have a formula for the plurals. First, we'll do the example about the singulars, then for the plurals. But I write here the example, wo Kashmir jane wala hai. See here, the verb took here ne and wala. Ne wala hai. So this is the sign you have to translate. 
it into English. So at the first place, you always translate subject. So we will translate here subject and subject is uh, masculine singular third person. Masculine singular third person. That is he. So I write here he. Then we have to bring whether is or am. We have to see first whether it's a singular or it's a plural. But he is a singular one. So I will write here he is. That means now he is at the second place you have to translate. And then he is at the first place you have to translate. So he is and Jane Wala is at the third place you have to translate. So he is about this is at the third place about to then ja not janewala newala about to that means then jana you have to translate at the fourth place I'll write here fourth he's about to go then Kashmir Kashmir you can it's a noun it's at the last place at the end you have to translate to Kashmir so you have to bring to with it and sometimes you don't have to bring to like home we say uh, he's about to go home he's about to go to school he's about to go about to go to Perry field so this is the way to translate when you have such kind of sentences where you have ne wala at the end and this is wo kashmir jane wala hai now we'll do another example uh, for for whom and for feminine. So I'll write here wo khane wali hai. So this is the singular here and wali Ne wali is here, so it speaks about the feminine singular, and wo speaks about the third person. So third person is she. So this is subject. Then we have to bring helping word, which is whether it's uh, singular or plural. It's singular, so is is used here. She is then about to. She is about to. Then kana is eat. So it's the first form, she's about to eat, or you can say a verbal phrase here, she's about to eat, or you can add a food, she's about to eat food, she's about to eat food, she's about to eat banana, or she's about to eat orange, she's about to eat apple, she's about to eat tomato, uh, tomato, she's about to eat potato, or uh, she's about to eat cucumber, or she's about to use, uh, eat a uh, uh, turnip. So these are the words. You can replace words. You have to make only linear structure first, then you can replace subjects or nouns or the pronouns in order to create a vertical structure of the sentence. That way you can make a good practice to learn translation. Now, uh, we can we'll take one example from the Plural. Wo sab gane wale hen. Now this is a different one. Wo sab gane wale hen. So I'll write here wo. Uh, here this time we have to see wale hand this is for the plural and we have to see what wo is here so wo is here they so i'll write here they and then we have to see the subject whether subject is singular or the plural or the noun is singular or the plural or the pronoun is singular or the plural so we have to bring the same way the helping verb here so they we always use are with it accordingly so this is a plural one they are then again about to then gana 
they are all because sub is here sub will be translated uh, at the third place they are all about to gana means sing about to sing they are all about to sing wo sab gaane wale hain so this was our lecture based on wale hain so i'll write here about to the title one about to so dear students today our lecture was about ne wala hai ne wali hai ne wale hain ne wale ho like you tum khane wale ho you are about to eat you are about to eat uh we will now take the verb one verb uh and then we'll make the exercise based on that verb that we take the uh, dig it means khodna dig so uh we'll start from the second person first tum zameen khodne wale ho you are about to dig the land tum sab zameen khodne wale ho you all are about to dig the land or you are all about you all are about to dig the land or tum jaane uh, wo khodne wala hai he is about to dig wo zameen khodne wali hai she is about to dig the land wo ladke zameen khodne wale hai those boys are about to dig the land wo aurate zameen khodne wali hai those women those women are about to dig the land wo ladki khodne wali hai that girl is about to dig the land wo sab khodne wale hai zameen khodne wale hai they all are about to dig the land so this was our lecture i hope you give your suggestions and you write to us so see you in our next lecture till then goodbye